Hey, what's going on, Internet? Duke of the Bump here. Uh, welcome to the chat room. CPC Gamer, Oxbow is a Misty, Cost Jammer, and Pokesmot420. This will be my attempted eighth playthrough of the Binding of Isaac. I've beaten it seven times. And, uh. Hi, everybody. And my, uh. I'd say the four people in the chat room now are like the four big regulars to the stream. Exergia is a regular, but I, I haven't seen him recently. Uh, so let's get started. The last couple streams I would classify as failures. Um, oh, crap, let me type something in the chat room to sync it up. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Soggy Jr. Come back when you're all rolled up. Uh, welcome to the chat room, S.A. Donnie, Rodnod, and Cloth. Uh, yes, it is a good thing that you missed the, the last stream, Postmont. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Engraver47. Oh, Oxpo beat Mom's heart. Congratulations. Um, so yeah, the Popple Mail stream two streams ago, I ran into some technical difficulties, which is unfortunate because I know a lot of people were looking forward to Popful Mail. Um, and then, I'd, I'd say the Sonic CD stream after that went pretty well. Um, it was still kind of disappointing though. Uh, I did end up beating Sonic CD, just not uh, I didn't do any of the you know, I didn't try for the good ending or anything, but it, it was a pretty decent playthrough. And then my last stream on Tuesday, I tried to play uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii using an emulator. And uh, it worked okay at first. Um, I did run into a few difficulties. Um, I thought the emulator was going to work fine. Uh, it worked fine in all my tests. But uh, when I made it to levels with like lava or underwater levels, there was some serious slowdown, which really kind of put a damper on things. And the technical problems kind of made me, you know lose my steam, lose my mojo. Can't run Dolphin on my quad core apparently. I have a quad core, I think. It's an Intel i5 processor. That's quad core, right? And I mean for the most part, New Super Mario Brothers Wii works fine. Uh, I can even run it in double resolution and uh, and with anti-aliasing and stuff. It's just when I was trying to, to stream it, um, Man, this is, a, is not a very good start to this game. When I was trying to stream it, um, and there was a lot going on on the screen, there was some uh, some major slowdown. Yeah, okay, so it might, it might take me a couple tries to get back into my groove. Um, my last Binding of Ice Extreme I thought was very successful. I, uh, I, uh, well, I kind of broke the game because I got the, uh, what was it, the fetus? The item that makes it so in instead of tears, all of your shots are bombs. Which is a an extremely powerful item. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Sticky Mouse and Polygaming. Yeah, the fetus is just extremely broken, and I ended up getting the horse as well, which you know pretty much sealed the deal with the pony rather. Um, that stream was awesome. I did uh, I did Oregon Trail with uh, chat participation. Participation. Uh, the first people who came into the chat room, I made my party in. I did say Oregon, right? Not Oregon. Yeah, Oregon Trail. It's like the Oregon Trail, the old Apple II game that was zombies. If any of you haven't seen it, then it's on my YouTube. You should go check it out. I haven't put the last two streams up on YouTube yet, just because I feel they weren't up to my usual standard of quality. Um, oh shit. Always kill item, or always kill enemies on the screen before you pick up items, damn it. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Private Steve and NAR Password. Glad you can make it. Pretty, uh, pretty big crowd already. Alright, I have seven coins. I guess I might as well see what's in the item shop. I have a couple keys, so I should be good in the item room on the next level. I actually beat Mom on my first try, not to brag or anything. Well, good job. It took me, uh, a few tries before, before I could even get to Mom. And uh, I don't think I beat her the first time I made it to her. One of my friends enjoyed your Oregon Trail stream so much that he tried the game out right after, so there's that. Well, good. 
I mean, one of my goals in doing these streams is definitely, uh, definitely, you know, promoting games that I love. Working Trail and Binding of Isaac. Welcome to the chat room, McGack2. You know, I totally forgot to check my volume settings. Is the volume okay? Yeah, okay. It looks good. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Perigo. Or Paragot. Oh, it's Paragot, that's right, because you are not of the, uh, of the French persuasion. Oh yeah, I forgot to check for the secret room here. Oh well. I'll do that after I beat Monstro. I don't usually get just plain old ordinary Monstro anymore. Usually it's one of the uh, superior versions of him. Ever since I got the everything is terrible item. I unlocked the wafer on my last playthrough, which uh, is supposedly pretty good. It's a uh, damage reduction item from what people in the chat room told me. The only damage reduction item in the game, if they are to be believed. I expect, you know, it'll be quite a few attempts before I actually, you know, see that as an item. But, uh, I'm looking forward to eventually, you know, picking that up. Oh yeah, uh, minor announcement. Um, a lot of people have expressed concern over the, uh, over my Twitter account for uh, for my streams, Duke LPs, because a lot of people don't like Twitter. So for those people, well, if you don't like Twitter, but you like Facebook, I set up a Facebook account, which pretty much exactly mirrors my Twitter account. And uh, if you want to subscribe to that, you can. It's uh, facebook.com slash uh, Duke of the Bump. Oh, look, pennies. Not enough to buy the stepladder, unfortunately. Uh, welcome to the chat room, ZL Forwara. Torchlight is a Diablo clone done right. Yeah, that's true. I like Torchlight a lot. Although I never beat it, and he here's my problem with the original Torchlight, which I hope they f they fix in uh, in Torchlight 2. My problem was I ended up over leveling myself. I uh, I did a bunch of the. Uh, a bunch of the secret dungeons, well not secret, but you can buy maps, or not maps, but you can buy scrolls that open up portals to special dungeons that aren't part of the quote-unquote main storyline, and I did a few of those. Um, you know, I took a break from grinding away in the main dungeon, and I did some of the uh, extra dungeons, and I ended up over-leveling myself, so I would just, you know, totally steamrolling over everything in the main dungeon, and I'm not sure if there was, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if it would have, like, evened out, rebalanced the difficulty on the next level or something, but I ended up just getting bored and quitting. And, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sure how they could fix that, because, I mean, you don't want people to, uh, to do those extra dungeons and not get anything for it, you know? But, I mean, maybe... I mean, you can't... I mean, the only way I can see that they can fix that is to uh, rebalance the game's difficulty on the fly. You know, just whatever level you are, just scale all the enemies in your current dungeon, no matter which dungeon you're currently in, to whatever your level is. Uh, welcome to the chat room, JCD205. In Torchlight 2, you get a new game plus in which monsters are balanced to your level. So if you start off at level 60 to 80, monsters will always be balanced to your level. I was crapped out on Diablo 2 because by the second act I was growing bored. Yeah, um, I never beat Diablo 2 either. I mean, I like these kinds of games. Um, I like Diablo and Torchlight. They just, uh, I don't know. I like the mechanics, but they really need to, uh, to mix it up. I mean, Di Diablo 2 and Torchlight effectively have no story whatsoever, which kind of you know, demotivates you to actually continue playing the game. I mean, at least in uh, a JRPG or something, there's a story, even though it might not make sense, to, uh, you know, kind of keep you motivated and keep you grinding. There's a story behind Diablo 1. and not really. I mean, not much of one. Oh, crap, I don't want that. Well, I guess I don't have any other items, so... 
I might as well pick it up. Alright, no key, so can't go into the item shop just yet. But I actually have enough uh, coins now that I might actually be able to buy something. See, even in a situation like that, the lemon mishap isn't really that useful, because I still got hit there. I guess if I had activated it just like a second earlier, then I might have been able to uh, to kill that dude before I got hit. But oh well. Can't you just use the hermit card? Oh yeah, the hermit does take you into the into the item shop, doesn't it? I always I always forget which cards teleport you where. I, I thought the hermit was the uh, the first room, the starting room, but that's the fool, I guess. Uh, well. It would probably be a good investment to get the steam sale, just for uh, for future edification. I don't know if that's the right word to use here. Uh, if I don't find any more keys, then I will uh, come back and buy that. Yeah, Hermit is the shop, the Fool is the start, and the other one, the Moon, I think, is the secret room. There must be some kind of mnemonic to make you remember that. Like. I guess it would be very foolish to go back to the start, and the item shop is run by a hermit, and the secret room is dark, like it's lit by moonlight. I guess that's good enough. I've been watching the uh, the Persona 4 endurance run on uh, the Giant Bomb endurance run. I've been watching it on YouTube. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Monothu. And uh, that game prominently features uh, tarot cards as well. And, of course, you know... I mean, as far as I can tell in Persona 4... <clears throat> well, it's probably too complicated to really get into with all the social linking and stuff. But I'm trying to figure out if there's any actual pattern to, like, what tarot cards go with which people, or which effects. I don't know, there doesn't really seem to be a pattern as far as I can tell, but, uh, but it's interesting. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Project Fukima, Project Fumika. I got, I welcomed you, ZL Ferora. Uh, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the video loaded just a second after you, uh, after you popped up in the chat room. I'm sorry you didn't hear it. Welcome. Or I, I could have, it's possible that I completely butchered your name and you weren't aware that that's what I was actually saying. But yeah, Persona 4 Endurance Run, um, I've been enjoying it. It's 99 hours long, and uh, it's hard to tell how many actual hours I am into it, because they, uh, I mean, some of the videos are, are shorter than others. I mean, some of the videos are like an hour long, some of them are like 20 minutes long at the minimum. But uh, I'm a pretty good chunk into it. I'm on like video 64 or something. Yeah, that's better than the lemon mishap, I would say. Duke, are your problems with Popple Mail because of the ROM? Well, I assume so. I mean, I figure it's just a corrupted ROM. Um, I got it in the uh, in the Sega CD tour on Underground Gamer, which is usually a pretty reliable source for that kind of stuff. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Slashy. That's quite the upgrade, indeed. The unicorn horn is very good. I have tons of health laying around too, which is great because uh, I can always come back and get it, you know, if I have problems with the boss. Uh, let's see. There's no real link versus between what Arcana, what Arcana does what. Some attacks are strong weak versus others. Yeah, I figured that's all it was. Welcome to the chat room, Mr. Pink 077. Go to the arcade. Uh, well, okay. I mean, I was going to save my money, but... I guess I could use the blood machine. Yeah, that's a good idea, with all this health laying around. I'll give it a shot. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Kibitz. I just beat this game today as question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a uh, character that I haven't unlocked yet, I assume. Oh, sweet! Woohoo! Uh, let's see, do I want to actually gamble? I don't think so. I think I saved my money. Man, I always 
<laughs> it always makes me cringe slightly when I get the blood bag because it makes your character very unpleasant to look lo to look at, especially with your head vibrating like that. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Fox. You get question mark, question mark, question mark on the tenth playthrough. Yeah, that's uh, I read that somewhere. So hopefully I will do that before the uh, the expansion comes out. Welcome to the chat room, Flemmet, Babber, and Jimmy. I'm getting better at saying that on my first attempt. Oh, it's just Larry Jr. Ho hum. I guess I could use my horn. Yeah, why not? Oh, uh, come back here. Ha. Oh, uh, let's see. I have all this health. I might as well see what the devil has to say. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why did I have a feeling that would happen? And me without my unicorn horn. Oh well, this guy's not that tough. Oh fuck. Oh shit. So I'm still playing Bastion, and I'm enjoying it. Um, I haven't gotten that much farther in it since the last uh, the last dream that I mentioned it in. Uh, I played uh, Wolfenstein 3D the other day. I uh, I played through the entire first episode because there's a website, uh, an official Bethesda thing, where you can just play the game right in your browser, which is pretty awesome. I'm not I don't remember what the actual website is. Just Google. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D. It's it's the 20th anniversary anniversary. So just Wolfenstein 3D 20th anniversary. It sucks that I haven't gotten any damage pickups yet. Maybe uh, no. Nah. Okay, this guy's giving me more more trouble than I anticipated. I better uh, I better start focusing here. Sorry for the silence. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, I brag about how easy this guy is, and then I get killed by him. <sighs> uh, welcome to the chat room, Futago. <sighs> blue baby time. Well, I don't have blue baby yet. <sighs> Alright, well, try again. Get right back on the horse. And blame the lag. Yes, I will blame the lag on my single-player non-internet video game. So yeah, Wolfenstein still holds up. I uh, I enjoy playing through. Uh, I played through all of Episode One on Hurt Me Plenty, and it's actually more difficult than uh, than playing it, you know, normally. Because there's no, you can't save or load your game or anything, and there's no quick saving or, or uh, quick loading. So, uh, you know, kind of tough. And I haven't made much progress in episode two yet. I never actually played through episode two of Wolfenstein 3D, just uh, episode one. And uh, yeah, well, episode two, pretty tough. There are these zombies with guns in the middle of their chests and. They are very hard to, uh, well, I mean, they don't make sounds like the normal Nazis do. So, they are hard to notice until they are kicking your ass. And there's no armor or anything in Wolfenstein 3D, so, you know, a couple up-close shots will, uh, will do a pretty significant amount of damage. Oh, input delay? Well, I could blame that, but... That would not be honest. Shit. Oh well, I wasn't too happy with the item, uh, the items I got in that, that last attempt anyway. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have some better luck this time. I mean, the unicorn horn was pretty good, but, uh, the lemon mishap and the Mr. Mega aren't the most useful things in the world. Okay, uh, where is the secret likely to be? Probably... Well, let's see, it has to be touching at least two other rooms, right? 
Hmm. Well, that leaves a lot of a lot of possibilities. Oh, it has to be touching at least three other rooms. Well, not in this case. It's just touching. Well, unless you count diagonally. Uh, welcome to the chat room. Holy crap. Uh, Saya Chan, Lord Tamar, and C Nice, and Darian Mask. Welcome, all of you. Man, someone must have plugged me or something because people are flooding in. Oh, it can be touching two or three rooms. Most of the time it has to touch three, but not if there's only two. Okay. So apparently it's not a, uh, a hard and fast rule. Uh, do I want to go to the item shop? I better save my key for the next level, just in case. Alright, I got the bra, so let's uh, freeze these guys. Do more, do more damage if you hit their head or something? I don't think so. Well, it looks like it's, it's doing slightly more damage. There's always more to this game to figure out. And even when you think you figured something out, you know, you could just be drawing false conclusions. So yeah, 20 years of Wolfenstein 3D. I didn't play it when it came out. I was a little young at the time. Uh, but I played it a few years after it came out. After after Doom 2 was released, but uh, but before the game had lost, you know, had really fallen out of the public eye. And uh, you know, it's pretty it's pretty amazing what that game you know started. You know, I mean, first person shooters are arguably arguably the most popular genre of video games still, and uh, they all have Wolfenstein 3D to thank. I don't know. Doom might have been more important in the grand scheme of things, but... I mean, there were first-person shooters before uh, Wolfenstein, but that's the one that really kind of, you know, sped things along. You know, really jump-started the first-person shooter as a genre. Uh, welcome to the chat room. Oh, Hauser. Welcome. I was about to try to pronounce your name, but then I remembered I can just call you Hauser. Uh, so yeah, I'll save my key. Onward. So yeah, other than uh, Bastion and Wolfenstein 3D, it's pretty much all I've been playing. Um, and this, of course. And uh, New Super Mario Brothers the other day. Have I heard about the DLC Wrath of the Lamb? Yeah, I've, uh, I've talked about it a few times. Um, I'm, I'm planning on streaming it, you know, as soon as I can, once, once it's released. So, uh, you'll have that to look forward to. Hopefully it's released on a Tuesday or a Thursday, so it lines up with my streaming schedule. Aren't most games released on Tuesday, usually? Isn't that like the agreed-upon release date for uh, for video games? Uh, welcome to the chat room, Tsuna Joshi. What day is May 28th? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a Monday. Okay. Well, I'll stream it the day after it comes out, then. Oh, I didn't know there... there the, the, I didn't know there was actually a solid release date for Wrath of the Lamb. The last thing I heard was uh, just late May. So that's cool. I usually work nights, so I'm never at your stream. Yeah, sorry, uh, Project Fumika. Um, I mean, I have people watch my stream from all over the world. You know, it blows me away. And, uh, you know, naturally, I can't, you know, match everybody's schedules. I mean, I know CPC Gamer... You know, he has a tough time, because it's midnight when I start the stream his time. Which, you know, kind of sucks. I wish I could, uh, you know, accommodate more people. I was looking at my, uh, my analytics for my last Binding of Ice Extreme video, because for some reason it got way more hits than any other video I posted recently. So I was like, oh, I wonder if... I should see what this pill does, huh? No, nothing. So uh, I was checking out my analytics, and uh, I found that somebody linked me, uh, linked to the video, on a uh, 
on a German forum, which appears to be a forum devoted to these three uh, young women who post Let's Plays on YouTube. And uh, with the assistance of Google Translate, uh, it was somebody named Cheshire Cat uh, who linked to my stream and who was talking about me in the forum. And from what I could suss, I mean, it sounded, you know, complimentary. So, uh, Cheshire Cat, if you're watching, you know, thank you for the, uh, for the links. Uh, that got me a little bit of traffic. And then someone on, uh, on the Minecraft forums linked to me, but I couldn't find the exact post. So, uh, whoever's watching from Minecraft forums, thank you. Thank you for helping spread the word. Is that creepy? It just struck me that that might be kind of creepy. Like, oh, yeah, let's let's track down, you know, the people who like me and, you know, stroke my ego a little bit. Sweet. I found the cheat code that enables big head mode. A couple of my videos have been embedded as references on an abandonware website. Well, that's cool. Just good business to know where your hits are from. Yeah, I mean, that's the way I see it, but... I mean, I'm not a business, you know. I'm not even close to being able to make money from this. It's just a hobby. But, uh... I mean, I do like, you know, knowing... You know... Knowing when people are you know, spreading the word about my streams. I mean, I hope, you know... I, I look forward to, uh... To new people finding my streams because it's always more fun when there are more people in the chat room. CPC Gamer means your videos are good enough to be used for that purpose. Yeah, that's uh, well, CPC Gamer also plays a lot of really obscure games for uh, you know, European consoles that you know not a lot of people know about. So a lot of times, you know, it's helpful to have a video resource for those kinds of games. Which is one of the advantages to uh, to doing obscure games, let's plays. I mean, I know that my uh, Pugsy videos are like one of the main sources of Pugsy information out there. Like, if you Google Pugsy, I think my videos, you know, one of the first few, the episode one of the Pugsy LP is one of the first few results, which really sucks because, you know, looking back on the quality of the Pugsy videos is extremely disappointing. I wish I could redo them. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Sirius Cockademon. If I ever get approached by Machinima and read the contract. Uh, I don't think that's too likely, but thanks for the, uh, advice. But I mean, I would never, you know, agree to a contract without reading it. Duke, that stream I caught like two weeks ago at 4 a.m. for me made me buy the game. Well, good. I love uh, spreading the word about things that I love. Why can't I redo them? Well, I mean, I guess I could, but my old videos already have such huge, you know, numbers. Well, comparatively. Huge numbers and, you know, huge search engine rankings that if I go back and redo them, then, uh... You know what? I'm going to go to the... Sh go to the shop. I only have one key, but hopefully I can get another key before uh, before the next item room. Because I actually have 16 coins, and I know that if I pass it up... Oh, see? The ladder. I actually have a chance to get it. Good. I don't think I've gotten the ladder in any of my streams or videos yet. Uh, basically, it works like the ladder in Legend of Zelda. Um, if there's a pit, you can, you know, go one space over it. Or, I mean, you can cross one space gaps. Duke, gamble, get a bomb, and a nickel. Uh, okay, why not? I have one coin left. Let's see what I get. Oh, nothing. Oh, well. Wrath of the Lamb released on May 28th. Oh, I guess that's confirmed then. Excellent. Better chances with your last one. Is that true? It's kind of crazy if that's the case. A lot of attention to detail in this game. For things that, you know, people wouldn't necessarily ever notice.
I wonder if Edmund McMillan's Twitter account is back up. I heard that it uh, got hacked recently, and uh, the last I checked, there were zero posts on the Twitter. I wonder if he like has a blog or anything, because he's a dude I definitely like to uh, to see what he's working on. Because I like Super Meat Boy. I mean, I really love this game. And Super Meat Boy I like, I just don't play because I'm not good at it at all. Like, even a little bit. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Galen O'Reilly. Edmund, I believe, quit using his, his Twitter account. Eh, yeah, that's a shame. Oh, uh, welcome, Rob Father. Glad you can make it. Alright, uh, let's see if it's Krampus again. If it is, then I quit. Okay, good. Oh man. I'm so close to being able to get one of these. All I need is half a soul heart. Damn. I never get uh get stuff available for soul hearts. That sucks. Any tweets from him will be on the team meet account. That's good to know. Alright. I hate to do this, but I require uh bathroom usage, so I will be back in like two seconds. So is anyone excited for for Borderlands 2? I am, but I mean, there's not much point in being excited now because it doesn't come out for another like four months or something, right? Comes out in September, I believe. I like the original Borderlands. I played through the whole thing with more Draconis back when I had an Xbox. The main reason I'm looking forward to Borderlands 2 is because uh, one of the writers is a guy named Anthony Birch who does uh, he does a show on uh, game trailers I think it is called Hey Ash What You Plan it's him and his sister Ashley Birch and uh, he used to be uh, a regular on a podcast called Podtoid his Destructoids podcast and he's a really funny guy and uh, he does his own podcast with his sister every once in a while called The Hopcast and uh, he's a cool dude and uh, he was hired by, uh, was it 2K, I think? No, Gearbox, is the developer. He was hired by them as a writer, and uh, from what I understand, he has a lot of input into, uh, into Borderlands 2, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, anyone, uh, anyone who likes video game humor, uh, Google Hey Ash What You Plan, that's A-S-H, What You Plan. Uh, it's just a series of short, you know, one or two minute videos about various video games, but uh, quite amusing. Uh, welcome to the chat room. I am Sanchez, and welcome back, welcome back, Cost Jammer. Welcome back, Cotter. You should change your name to Cotter, Cost Jammer, because Cost Jammer is really hard to pronounce, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And if you change your name to Cotter, I can say welcome back, Cotter. Oh shit. I walked right into his little gray laser beam thing. Shit! I wonder if this guy's just gonna give me. Oh! Half a heart. Awesome. The Hierophant. You know, I always forget what this one does, so I'm just gonna use it. Oh yeah! Two soul hearts. Uh, welcome, Usnoro, or Usunoro, depending on how Japanese you want to pronounce it. I mean, I think the second U is technically supposed to be silent. Usnoro? 
kind of like uh, Yosuke, but I don't know. Usually when I try to talk about Japanese things, I'm not that uh, knowledgeable about that, those sorts of things, because I'm not a very big uh, otaku. It's supposed to be Kostja Mushroom Head, but I make Kostja MRH instead. You just can't have capital letters here. Well, what's what's Kostja supposed to be? I don't know what that is either. I mean, at least Mushroom Head's a thing. Well, two things. It's probably one of those weird foreign names from like Finland or uh, the Netherlands or something like that. My name, short from Constantine. Constantine in Russian. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, you, uh, you're one of the ones who liked the Facebook page. Okay, I was wondering who that was. Facebook.com slash Duke of the Bump for anyone who wants to follow me on Facebook. Which I don't know why you would. I mean, I wouldn't use Facebook if I didn't have to. It's kind of like, uh, AOL Instant Messenger, AIM, in the late 90s and early 2000s. Like, nobody really wanted to use it, but everyone ended up using it just because that's what everyone else uses. And, I mean, I don't use the actual AIM client anymore. I use uh, Digsby, and it connects to AIM. But, I mean, if I could not use the, the AOL protocol at all, I probably wouldn't. And if I could not use Facebook at all, I probably wouldn't. Uh, let's see, the scrolls. This is the one that... I think it has a random effect. I'll hang on to it. I know I've gotten that one before, and I should remember what it does. Yeah, okay. So many items you have to remember in this game. But yeah, facebook.com slash Duke of the Bump. It's just the same updates that you posted to my Twitter account. Just a lot of you don't like Twitter for some reason. The only problem with the scrolls is that it really likes to use Kamikaze when I get it. I don't think I've gotten Kamikaze. It doesn't sound very good, though. I want to use my Hanged Man card so I can go and get that heart. That's what, uh, that's what the Hanged Man does. Blow yourself up for damage. Oh, okay. I've gotten it. that one. Facebook is good for keeping track of everyone. Yeah, it is, but... They have some shady, uh... I don't know. I mean, I know that I use Google stuff, and Google's privacy policies and stuff really aren't any better than Facebook's. But I don't know. Facebook's just kind of creepy. But I mean, Google's kind of creepy, too. And I use Google for everything, so I guess I really shouldn't complain. Uh, this looks like a good place for a secret room. And I only have one bomb, so hopefully I am correct. Excellent. Ah, <sighs> man, I really get... Man, does Kane have like some sort of drawback where all of the secret rooms suck? Because I've gotten a good secret room like twice the entire time I've been playing. I unliked most stuff on Facebook. I didn't want it using my likes to advertise to friends. Yeah, me too. I mean, my actual Facebook account for my real name, not the Duke and Bump account, I don't even use that one. Well, I use it to uh, to communicate with a group of people I play D&D &D and other games with at the local game store. But that's it. I don't like things. I don't post on my wall. I don't post photos. Just not very, not a very uh, social person, I guess. Well, I am a social person. Social person. It's just my social network of choice is Twitter. But everyone says they don't like Twitter, so I don't know. The rabbit foot smells, so the secret rooms get offended. Yeah, that must be the logical explanation. Uh, I think I want to go back and grab the. Uh, grab the bra, just because it's fully charged and I can use it against the boss. And then I might go back and get the Dead Sea Scrolls after the boss, I'm not sure. I mean, the bra's pretty useful. 
And the Dead Sea Scrolls can be useful. But the, the scrolls are... They're more fun. Oh, good, it's Gertie. Glad I got the bra. This is my least favorite boss. I should probably take this opportunity to take out the boils. I don't know why I have so much trouble with Gertie. And I'm just not good at, uh... at remembering his patterns, I guess. And I'm not good at avoiding the boils. God, look at all these flies. I guess this is the, uh... This is the form of Gertie that doesn't actually spray blood. Cause that one's a lot worse. When you, oh. Oh, that's the fly, that wasn't him. Damn it! Me without any bombs, either. I just want to bomb right between those two boils and just... Try to take them all out. Oh lord, this is this is not going well. I wish I had my unicorn horn. See, I tend to focus way too much on the boils, focusing on not letting them grow to full capacity. Because if they do, God. He is just constantly regenerating those boils. Jesus Christ, okay. I need to stop focusing on those. I need to focus on just dealing damage to him. I mean, as long as I don't get much closer to the boils than I am now, it should be okay. Okay, yeah, this is a much wiser strategy. Apparently I was able to find his blind spot. Oh crap, I still have to kill all this stuff, don't I? Damn it! It would be very nice if all these things would die when, when Gertie dies, but I guess that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Alright, damage up. Good. Or quantity of, quantity of tears doesn't really matter that much of his damage or quantity. Either way, you're dealing more damage. On the blood spitting Gertie, do a semicircle to avoid the blood and take out the bursting things. I hate dying on post-boss cleanup. Yeah, that's a, uh... It's a pain in the ass. Ooh, balls of steel. Excellent. That is a good... That is not so good. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm done here. The boils really don't do much. Well, they spray blood in a very unpredictable pattern, and it's really hard to avoid if you get too close, which is why they always freak me out. So it's much nicer today than it was the last time I streamed, which is another reason my last stream didn't go so well, because I was trying to, uh, to do it without the air conditioner and the fan on, and it was extremely warm. Oh crap! It was extremely warm uh, in my living room, despite it being like 70 something outside. And today, it's like 70 something outside, but the humidity is much lower, and uh, it's actually quite nice. Although, I closed my window when I started streaming, so random people outside wouldn't be able to hear me. And I might turn my fan on. Um, if it's not too noisy. I really hesitate to, uh, to turn on my fan on my air, air conditioner because I never know if, if the noise is going to be an issue. I mean, it wasn't an issue the last time I had it on when I was streaming, but it was also further away from me. It was fine last time. Yeah, okay. Well, I will turn it on and you guys tell me if, uh, tell me if it's a problem. Actually, let me turn on low. There, is that bad? This is basically reference the game. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of, uh... I don't hear anything, nope, it's fine, just kidding, can't even hear it. Okay, good. Excellent. Alright. 
I mean, uh, Super Meat Boy was kind of the same way, too. I mean, Edmund McMillan likes, uh, likes making his games love letters to some of his favorite games. I mean, that was obviously a, uh, a Bomberman reference. And Super Meat Boy, well, I mean, it had all the, uh, all the unlockable characters. It had, uh, Commander Video, um, let's see, who else? Mighty Jalof, uh, the kid from I Want to Be the Guy. Of course, I guess those are less references and more, like, I don't know, like, he's buddies with those developers, because they're all indie people. There was the, uh, the Splunky guy, Splunky guy in there, I think. Well, I don't know if he's friends with all of them, but they're all, like, indie game people. So they're kind of just a, uh... They all kind of know each other. Tim from Braid, yeah. Gish, Headcrab, Osmo? I don't even know who Osmo is. The only character... I didn't play Super Meat Boy that long. The only character I managed to unlock was Commander Video. I mean, I like that game, it just depresses me how bad I am at it. I mean, I can... I can beat it. I mean, uh... I forget if I actually beat it or, beat it or not. If I didn't beat it, I came really close. But, you know, beating it's not the hard part. The hard part is doing all the, uh... Ooh! It's that onion. makes my tears very fast. Also possibly an Ashen's reference. I'm not really sure if that was intentional or not. Ogmo, the Meat Boy clone guy. Huh. But yeah, I mean this and Super and Meat Boy are both love letters to uh to other games. Oh yeah, I was saying the hard part about Super Meat Boy is uh, doing all the uh, the warp zones levels and you know getting a good time, getting an A on enough levels, and getting all the bandages. I mean, that, that game's kind of like uh, I understand that Fez is the same way. Like actually beating the game is nothing, like no challenge at all. But getting all the secrets and unlocking all the uh, all the bonuses and stuff is the really challenging part of Fez. The Kid's Christmas is a level found in Tet Internets. I'm assuming that's a uh, Super Meat Boy thing. <laughs> Isn't Super Meat Boy for some non gratis on the stream? Well, unfortunately, the first time I got a fully powered up Super Meat Boy in this game, I didn't know that he actually pushes bombs, and I ended up dying because of it. Uh, which is my own fault. I mean, I should have, uh, I should have been more careful. I, I mean, I was, I, what happened was I laid the bomb, and I looked away from the stream for like half a second to look at the chat, because I thought, you know, oh, I'll just walk away from the bomb, there's nothing on the stream that can hurt me. And then I, then I looked back and Super Meat Boy pushed the bomb into me, and, and I died. It was very depressing. Dead bird killed me with a bomb once. The, the little bird that uh, that flies around and hits people when you get hit? That thing can, can push bombs too? I did not know that. I like the dead bird. There's a two-minute vid on Duke's Twitch if you want to watch it. Well, the version on Twitch is... Unfortunately, the video was like two minutes too long to export the whole thing to YouTube. So, it's all on YouTube except for like the last two minutes. And then if you go to the Twitch version, and you, uh, and you skip to the last two minutes, you can see it. I forget what day that was. Pride killed me with a bomb once. Yeah, those, uh... Man, I was hoping that was hormones. Just the virus. I mean, the virus is okay, but it's not nearly as good as hormones. 
because the hormones give you like extra speed, they make you stronger, they make you fly into a Hulk rage. Whoa. Uh, I've never actually seen one of these before the depths before. That's interesting. Growth hormones and roid rage are better. Oh, I thought, I thought those were the same thing. The virus relies on you taking damage for for its effect. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. I don't like anything that requires you to take damage before it's useful. North Carolina bans gay marriage, but it's the only state where you can legally rape your wife. Wow, I really hope that's not true, Polygamy. Because if so, that's pretty depressing. I have a few friends in North Carolina, and, uh... <clears throat> I mean, I thought that this bill that just passed was just a gay marriage ban which is dumb in and of itself, but apparently it does a lot of other really bad things. I don't rem remember what the exact effects are, but there's like, I mean, there, there are a ton of like, um, writers to the bill. There's like, well, I don't know if writers is the technically correct term here, but there are a ton of, I mean, there are a ton of other things that the bill do that nobody knows about. Like, even people in North Carolina think it's just an anti-gay marriage bill. But, like, it removes funding from a children's health care program or something. And it, uh, I mean, I don't know. Go look it up. It does a lot of really bad stuff. Wow, this item is pretty useful against this boss. I don't always like living in, in West Virginia. We're not the most progressive state in the Union. But I'm glad that we haven't yet, like, done any crazy anti-gay marriage, you know, anti-freedom, anti-woman stuff like North Carolina's been doing lately, and, uh, Virginia recently had that, uh, uh, oh, what was it? It was like an anti-birth control thing in Virginia. Just really horrible. In West Virginia, all we care about is coal, which, you know... It's good, I guess, since we're not, uh... I'm glad Sam's not here. She'd hijack the shit and set everyone right. 40% of West Virginia Democratic Caucus voted for a convict over Obama. Yeah, that's a, uh... That's a real pisser. Alright, well, I have... Lots of hearts. Sh should I get either of these? Chat room, help me out. I don't think I've ever gotten either of these. Are they worth two hearts? 666 is damage. Don't get the cat. What does the cat do? Cat is lies, but you won't need it. Because you nine lies, but takes all heart, but wow, that sucks. <sighs> Let's see, do I actually want to get this? How's my damage? That's pretty high. Oh, no, I don't want you to die. Oh. I hate that you can't just hit escape to back out of this menu. Escape does the exit to main menu thing. It's not brimstone. Well, that's unfortunate. <sighs> oh, what the hell. No pun intended. Now my damage and my firing speed are both at max. I hope it was worth it. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to get political in my stream again. I mean, I have very liberal political views. You know, I tried to... Uh, I try to be approachable to everyone, regardless of one's political stance. You know, I, I don't try to be offensive to anyone in my streams, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's just on my mind, you know? And my streams and my LPs are 
a forum for me to talk about what's on my mind. And if you don't like it, I guess you can uh, you can unsubscribe. But uh, you know, I hope you. Uh, I mean, I hope you realize that that kind of thing isn't like the main purpose of my streams. I mean, things got kind of political when Mortis Draconis was commenting last time, and I was a little worried because this is. Uh, I want my stream to be a happy place. I don't want people to have to worry about. You know the ills of the world and argue over you know whatever uh, welcome to the chat room bookman and I didn't see the number on your name because it's like 12 digits long bookman random number uh, bookman one two three four five six oh that's not random I'm playing a game based on abortion I don't know if it's based on abortion but uh, I do have a uh, a wire coat hanger sticking through my head. Uh, let's see. Be who I am and let the people decide. Yeah, that's my general philosophy. I'll be getting more hearts if I play well enough. Yes, hopefully. Brimstone. I guess you mean charging time is terrible. Yeah. I don't like the charge weapons. Like I, I really don't like the chocolate milk. So I don't know if I would ever actually get the brimstone. A lot of abortion nods. Yeah, that's true. And I can just walk right over these pits and get that chest. Don't even have to waste a bomb on it. I got another key, so I'll go on ahead and go back and uh, check the item shop. Brimstone is game breaking. That's what I hear. Oh fuck! God damn it! First cramp is now greed. I hate greed. It's probably my least favorite of the uh, of the seven deadly sin bosses. Just because that damn shot—it's not telegraphed at all. Like I always end up getting hit, hit by greed way more than I should. Man, I have all this nice happy money to spend, but there's no item shop on this level, damn it. Green's even worse when he's a replacement for the item shop. Use the bra. Yeah, I should have. I, I always forget I have items, except when I fight the bosses. Game breaking was what Kane looked like at the end of my last Binding of Ice Extreme. Yeah, that was a, uh... That was a beautiful sight. I mean, I was I, I was barely recognizable as human by that point. I was half horse, half destruction engine. I was like a machine created specifically for killing mom. Oh, speaking of which, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's horrible. Sorry. Is today Mother's Day? I know it was recently. If I'd have remembered, this would be a uh, an appropriate Mother's Day stream. I hope it is Mother's Day today, because that's hilarious. Ah, <sighs> big fly. All right. Luckily, the charging time. Up oh shit. The charging time on the bra isn't that bad, so I might as well use it when it's fully charged, because it only takes three rooms to charge it. Well, oh, Sunday is Mother's Day. Alright, well, happy early Mother's Day. Uh, well, I have all this money. Let's, uh, let's use a bomb instead of a key. So, uh, as I mentioned, I fixed my power supply, well, I replaced my power supply on my computer, and uh, pretty much the only time I really made use of it was when I played New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and that wasn't really that successful. I played like half an hour of hard reset just to uh, 
you know, just as a, a test case to make sure that everything in my computer was, you know, working properly. But, uh, I... Ooh! Well, never mind. I thought that was something good. It was just a heart. But I can do the challenge room now, which is nice. But yeah, I finally get my computer up to optimum gaming capacity. And what do I play? Wolfenstein 3D, a 20-year-old game. I do want to play uh, Legend of Grimrock. Um, I'll probably buy that when I get paid again. I'm running slightly low on funds because I uh, because I spent a hundred dollars on my power supply out of this paycheck. But uh, I get paid again in a few days, so I'll probably pick up Legend of Grimrock. Don't know if I'll be able to stream it yet. I have to wait and see how badly my computer would protest that. I, I think it would make a pretty decent uh, stream game, though. I mean, it's not like a normal grindy RPG. Well, I guess it's kind of grindy, but not like it's not like a uh, Final Fantasy game or something. Uh, welcome to the chat room. I rasta pasta e. And I apologize, as usual, as usual, if I butchered your name. I should play more Realm of the Rip Mag God. Yeah, that's another one I've been meaning to check out. Legend of Grimrock reminds me of Eye of the Beholder. Oh, it's just Rasta Pasta. Okay. I guess the eyes at the beginning and the end of your name are superfluous. I really loved Eye of the Beholder. I played it on the uh, on the Sega CD, which is a great version of the game. The voice acting is horrible, and the controls aren't really good compared to a keyboard and mouse. But uh, the soundtrack in the Sega CD version of Ivan Holder is awesome. That's one of the few uh, games like that that I've actually beaten. Ooh. I never beat any of the uh, any of the Gold Box games. Never beat uh, any of the. Uh, I never. I never actually. Oh yeah, I'd be dungeon hack, but that's that's kind of different. Ooh, a familiar. Which one is it? Little Chad gives hearts. Nice. Oh shit. I think just having him causes hearts to spawn randomly when you beat uh, when you clear rooms. Uh, welcome to the chat room, 0252. Don't let Chad kiss you. Aw, but look how friendly he is. But yeah, Legend of Grimrock is one I'll probably pick up soon. Um, not really any other games I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to. Except for uh, Wrath of the Lamb. I mean, I've been uh, I've been over this before, but my uh, my gaming tastes run kind of weird. Like, I don't really care about most AAA game releases. I don't care about like you know the big hyped games like Modern Warfare. Eh, not really, not really that into it. Or not Modern Warfare, but uh, Black Ops. Black Ops 2. A lot of people seem to be stoked, but uh, I don't know. In my first person shooters, I mean, I, I like first person shooters, but I prefer to fight, like, aliens and, you know, sci fi monsters and, you know, zombies in small doses. Not a Diablo 3 fan? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks good. I liked Diablo 2. To an extent. I'll probably just wait for Torchlight too. I don't know why every popular game nowadays is an FPS. Yeah. I mean, I love FPSs. I mean, I love Hard Reset. That is an excellent recent first person shooter. Um, I like the old Doom games, the old Quake games. Most 
most modern first person shooter. Oh, Half Life, obviously. Half Life One and Two. Just most modern first person sh shooters just don't do it for me. I want to get a drink. Uh, be back in like five seconds. And I'm back. I want to go look for a uh, secret room before I fight the boss, since I have all these bombs. Oh! Ooh! One up. It's about time I get something good from you, stupid secret rooms. Alright. Ready to kick some ass now. What is the devil doing again? It's just like a damaging thing, isn't it? Loki. Did you steal the Tesseract? Oh, that's right. The devil gives you the, uh, yeah, the temporary damage boost thing. Man, it would be so cool if, uh, if they updated Binding of Isaac with an item called the Tesseract, and you get it when you kill Loki. That'd be awesome. I don't know what it would do. I mean, it would have to be pretty damn powerful, I'd say. Oh, damn it, come on. If any of you don't know what I'm talking about, it's, uh, the Avengers movie, which I saw over the weekend. Excellent film. Probably the best superhero movie I've seen. <laughs> you would become Chris Hemsworth. Powerful, but Thor chases you. Yeah, I mean, uh, I kind of talked about this in my last stream, but that wasn't a very good stream, so I will go go over it again. Um, yeah, Avengers, I didn't have high hopes for, because I didn't really care about many of the superheroes in it. But uh, it, ended up, it ended up blowing me away. So yeah, see it. And uh, Cabin in the Woods, too. Joss Whedon's other movie for this year. Very good. Of course, Cabin in the Woods probably isn't still playing in most theaters near you. Not playing in a theater near you. But uh, if it is, don't learn anything about it. Don't look up any trailers or anything. Just go see it. Trust me. I would not point you wrong. Uh, okay. Avengers has made over 600 million already, and what do you mean I'm not interested in the heroes? I, I just mean, you know, they're kind of B-list superheroes. They're not like Batman or Superman or uh, Spider-Man or anything like that. I mean, Thor... Okay, Avengers was a great movie. Thor is a really silly concept for a superhero. And Captain America, yeah, it just seems kind of cheesy and outdated, which, you know they use to uh, to great effect in the movie you know I mean they kind of lampshade the whole you know 50s you know outdatedness of the character Thor breaking heterosexual male hearts everywhere he goes <laughs> yeah I mean Thor is basically Fabio he's the Fabio of the superhero world Does anyone remember Justice Friends? I think that's what they were called. It was an old uh, bit on Dexter's Laboratory that was a, uh, a send-up of the Avengers. Um, instead of Captain America, there was Major Glory. Instead of the Hulk, there was the uh, the infragable Crunk, I think. And instead of Thor, there was Valhalla, the Viking ro God of Rock. 
I think they should make a movie out of that. I mean, Valhalla is a much cooler character than Thor. Uh, wow, look at all this money I have. Damn. I have a feeling that Duke will be beat this one. Well, don't jinx me. You all remember what happened last time. Well, last time, Thor thumb jinxed me, and I ended up completely breaking the game. Don't forget Living Bullet. Was that a, a Justice Friends character? I don't remember. Get the battery. Yeah, yeah, I will. I mean, I don't have an extremely useful charge ride. Well, I guess it is pretty useful. Yeah, that's a good combo. The battery and the bra. That'd be a pretty good band name. Or an album name. The battery and the bra. It would be like an indie tronic folk retro reggae band. Uh, let's see. Well, I can go collect that heart, and then I can do the challenge room. And then I, I can probably just go straight to the boss after that. Check the challenge room out, make sure there are no items in it. I guess Mon's bra is kind of disgust disgusting, that's why people underrate it. Yeah, I tend to, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty gross. But, gross as it is, it is very useful. I hate these things. I hate these things too. Wow, do I hate these things. Thanks for giving me all my most hated enemies. Of course, I guess it is the deaths. Ah, damn it. See, uh, having little Chad, you know, I haven't really even noticed his effects, but, uh, I mean, he's been very useful about, uh, dropping health, you know, just when I need it. The challenge rooms have set enemies per floor. Well, I mean, I figure that, uh, that certain enemies are more common on, you know, higher levels. Like the uh, the knights, you're not going to get in challenge rooms on lower levels. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's uh, check this for the secret room. Okay. Uh, I guess I can keep going right and see if I can find the secret room over there. Why not? One eye glob globins. Globins? I guess it's a globin, like hemoglobin, because they're like congealing. <sighs> yeah, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. Oh crap, I already checked that wall. Uh, let's check this one. Or well, not that wall, but I checked that room. It's called Bendif of Isax. Uh, okay, I figure I can just go to the boss now. There's not going to be anything worth getting in those other rooms. I mean, there might be a, uh, a casino. Eh, screw it. Alright, this is Mom. <sighs> Get psyched, Duke. Kinda of weird that mom's bra works on mom. I mean, you think she'd be used to the sight of it by now. Damn, that was pretty effective.
Sweet! I unlocked something sticky. Alright, well that went really well. Uh, welcome, where's Draconis? I don't know why he thinks mom is so hard. Well, normally she is, unless you have an item that you can completely destroy her with, like I did. I made her stomp herself. When playing game, you can, when playing Kane, you can just break the game with a casino. Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes, even if you are Kane, I don't know. It's not always perfect luck. All right. Well, that went really well. Uh, let's continue on. Even without good items, she's not horribly hard. Well, usually when I do end up dying in this game, it's usually on mom. So that's why I freak out. It's either on mom or somewhere in in the womb. If I can make it past the womb, mom's heart really isn't that big of an issue. But I, I don't know. I think mom is harder than mom's heart. That's just me. Shit. What usually happens with mom is that she just ends up spawning way more enemies than I can deal with. And I just get overwhelmed. But, uh... I was able to get pretty much half of her health down before she could even do anything. Thanks to the bra. Uh, I guess I can try to bomb some of these blocks and see if any of them have secrets in them. I think mom is harder than the devil, hence making her the hardest boss in the game. Eh, from my experience, I think the devil's harder, but I've only actually fought the devil once. Of course, I didn't have any any good items when I fought the devil, so maybe, uh, I mean, from what I hear, bombs are, uh, are a good item to use against the devil, but I didn't have any bombs at the time, so. Yeah, it sucks. I've only I've only had a chance to go to uh, to the underworld, Shoal or Shoal or whatever once. Mom's harder than the devil. Mom's harder than the devil. Never mind. Oh, I'm at the boss already. No reason to to, uh, to dilly dally. Oh, Skolex. I wonder if this is a, uh, a deliberate Jonan Vasquez reference. Because Jonan Vasquez used to use Skolex as his, uh, as a pseudonym. I probably should have waited before I used the bra. I don't know if Skolex is actually a thing or if it's just, uh, just a name that they used. I think, I think it was uh, Mr. Skolex that Jonan Vasquez called himself. He's the dude who did uh, Invader Zim, if you don't know. Oh, speaking of Invader Zim, man, I saw this, uh... There's this website called nickreboot.com, or some, something like that, Nickelodeon Reboot, Nick Reboot, where it's just a stream of nothing but classic Nickelodeon TV shows, like 24-7. And they have a schedule, and there are a ton of, uh, I mean, it's pretty much anything from on Nickelodeon between, well, from the 90s, pretty much, and a little bit of stuff from the early, uh, early 2000s. And that, and there's also another one called Toonami Aftermath, which is a stream of nothing but, uh, Toonami shows from the 90s, like, like anime, like Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Well, they also have, like, other uh, Cartoon Network cartoons, and it's really cool. You you can chat while you watch it, and I, I mean they're both totally illegal, and I have no idea how they're still around. But uh, but it's it's cool cool while they last. Duke, have you ever beat Spunky? No, unfortunately not. I uh, I've made it to the last area of Spunky. Well, I, I assume it's the last area. It better be the last area. Uh, it's the, uh... It's like the space ice level with all the bottomless pits and stuff. Pretty sure that's the last area. 
but I've never been able to beat that that part of the game. Splunky is hard. Yeah, I agree. Harder than this. Wow, I have all these hearts. Should I try to get another blood bag? I don't know, that's kind of risky. So what determines when you can go to fight the devil? Well, a uh, it's random, uh, I assume. Uh, when you beat Mom's heart, there's a random chance of a portal to the underworld popping up. And, uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's random. If there's something else that, de that determines it, I have not been able to figure it out. No, you can get multiple blood bags per game. I've gotten at least two in a single playthrough before. Well, if I can get some hearts from these things, then uh, then trying for the blood bag would be a more appealing option. And I have all these coins to spend, so why the hell not? And it looks like I'm getting plenty of hearts. Do go for the blood bag. I shall. I mean, I'm not going to uh, to take a huge risk on it, but uh, with all these hearts laying around, I should at least make an attempt. I don't know if uh, if Kane's luck applies to the blood bag as well or not. Just use the hearts you don't need. Well, yeah, I mean that's the plan. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do a few of these. Oh yeah, it's a womb, so the, the blood machine does a full heart of damage instead of a half a heart. That sucks. That probably makes it not a wise idea to really do a, t a ton of that. Shit! I did not even see that fly. Alright, well, let's try to get back up to full health, and then, then I'll just continue. The, uh, that might be useful, if I can get it. Nope. You should try, that way you're not wasting your time if you don't get it on your first try. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to press my luck here. I mean, I, I probably... I might have been able to get another blood bag, but, uh... Oh yeah, I got a fly. Very cool. So that room wasn't a complete waste after all. Shit. I don't like these things. I mean, they're not that bad. They just took me by surprise. And they turn into brains. They turn into small brains when you beat them, which is not a uh, not a pleasant thing. And the thing about that tsunami aftermath stream is, I'm pretty sure it's just hosted on UStream. Like it, it looks like a regular UStream uh, chat window and. Uh, and video window, and I have no idea how that thing is still on, if it online, if it's if it's just a UStream. I have no idea how there hasn't been a, a DCM DMCA takedown with that, because it's, it's been online for quite a while now. The URL for that one, I'm sure, is tsunamiaftermath.com. Oops. And I'm pretty sure the other one is nickreboot.com, but it might be, uh, there might be more to it than that. But yeah, I mean, if you're bored and you want something to watch, that's, that's an option. I turned into the Nick Reboot thing earlier, and it was, uh, it was Legends of the Hidden Temple. Which, you know, I, I loved it when I was a kid. I don't think that's the kind of show I would really go back and watch now. But I mean, I go back and watch, like, Rocco's Modern Life or Ren and Stimpy 
or Doug, possibly. Doug was pretty good. All right, let's get this heart. I tend to watch an MST3K stream in my downtime. Um, on the uh, on the tsunami aftermath thing, sometimes they do uh, rift tracks. And uh, what's the other one? The cinematic Titanic thing or whatever. It's like the Mystery Science Theater guys, some of them went on to do Rift Tracks, and then the other ones went on to do Cinematic Titanic. And I've never I've never really uh never really experienced either of them. Um I hear that Cinematic Titanic is better than Rift Tracks, but uh I don't know. It's really more a matter of it comes down to a matter of personal taste. Really should watch some of those though, because I loved MST3K. It'd be nice to uh, to see what those guys have been working on more recently. <sighs> Man, I'm taking a lot of damage in the past couple of rooms, which isn't horrible since I have my one-up mushroom, but <clears throat> still. I probably should have used the bra here. In fact, I should probably be using the bra way more often since I have the battery. Shit! Keep your distance from these fuckers. Yeah, that's a, uh... It's a good lesson. I like Cinematic Titanic better because I like the silhouettes. Shouldn't have blown up the arcade. Yeah, well, you live, you learn. I want to die, maybe, but I have my one-up mushroom, so if I do die, it's not really a huge deal. Also, thanks for the vote of confidence. Really appreciate it, man. What would I do if I didn't have? good-hearted folks like you I can rely on in my times of need. <sighs> I don't remember if I've gotten that pill or not. Nope, something new. Oh, another fly! Sweet! pretty fly for a white guy. I'm also a pretty fly for a rabbi. I'm a pretty fly for anyone, come to think of it. I hate it when there's a, a slot machine in, in the middle of spikes like this, because it always ends up spewing out stuff onto the spikes that I can't pick up without getting hurt. Ah, uh, it's just I found pills. Oh well. I kind of wish that the I found pills thing didn't show up when you were Kane. But I mean, I guess there's a huge benefit not having to deal with the power down pills. Like the uh, the damage down and the health down pills and stuff. Damn, thanks you and a lot of money. There's a heart. All right, let's pick up some of this stuff. All right, 19 more coins to go. Sorry, I hate doing this. I know it's boring to watch, but it's essential if I want a good shot against beating the game. I have a lovely little halo of flies now. Actually better than a halo of flies. Because a halo is just two. I think the maximum number of flies you can have is four. I seem to remember getting four once. Ah. 
Ah, uh, almost on. Oh, no more health. Oh well, I should be okay. Oh yeah, if you have the attack fly and, and just an admiration, you can have up to five flies. Man, that would be awesome if you had all five of those. Three black, one red, one blue. Yep. That would be pretty amazing. Alright, where are you going to pop up, fucker? Man, is it just me or is the battery better than it used to be? Like, I used to think the battery just, uh, it just made it recharge more in between rooms. But now it occasionally recharges a little bit, like, in the middle of a room. Like it just did. I don't know if I was just mistaken before, or if they, uh, or if he patched the game to, uh, to make them better. There's two different batteries. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Sweet! Boss time. And I have a chest. Alright. Quick check just to make sure none of these are, uh... Well, I guess I should try to look for the secret room while I'm here. There's just a couple really obvious places where it might be. Uh, let's try over here. I'm not going to go too far out of my way trying to find the secret room. Alright. <clears throat> oh shit, I do have all these bombs. That might not have been close enough to the middle. Let me get a little closer here. Alright. Let me just check two more spots, and then I will continue on. Save bombs for Satan. Oh yeah, that might be a good, good idea too. I usually assume I'm not even going to get Satan. I never use bombs on Satan. I don't get how you're supposed to. Well, I think you're supposed to lay the bomb where his foot's about to come down. And then time it so that his foot stomps on the bomb and deals damage to him that way. Seems like that would be tricky to time though. Alright, here we go. Take this! Take that, and some of this. And one of these. Man, the bra is like super good against mom. Both mom herself and her heart. Oh god, I don't like these things. I don't like these things at all. Well, it's not so bad when there's just one of them, but when there's two of them, they can get a little hectic. It'd be nice if my bra recharges while I'm fighting Mom's heart, but I won't get my hopes up. Boy, that's a sentence you don't hear very often. It'll be nice if my bra recharges. And that's a sentence I never thought I would say. Because I don't wear a bra, I just wear a man's ear. Or a bro if you prefer. I haven't seen those, uh, these guys before. They're like the, the other maggot things, but they blow up when you kill them. I guess those aren't really maggots, they're more like worms. Cool of those things to drop health for me though. That was an excellent, uh, an excellent drop. Shit. Oh boy. Almost got her. 
Whew. Congratulations to me. And no underworld, unfortunately. No Satan. Oh, is this the door? No, that just takes me back out. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's just that's just the door to go back into the dungeon. The the door to Shoal or Sheol or whatever. It's like a trap door in the floor. Gold tooth. Wow. Why no Satan? I don't know. I think it's random. Alright. Well, that went pretty well. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at DukeLPs if you like Twitter. Make sure you follow me on uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash Duke of the Bump, if you prefer. Follow me on YouTube. My YouTube name is Masharen, M-A-S-H-U-R-E-N. I wish I could change that. I, st I opened that account before I started using the Duke of the Bump name, and now it's just completely outdated. Satan thing shows up every time regardless of whether you get hit a lot or not. No, not unless you beat the game 10 or 11 times or whatever it is. Money equals power has appeared in the basement. Awesome. Alright, well, that'll about do it. <laughs> Everyone follow CPC Gamer on YouTube. Duke, I can send you a popful mail ROM if you have Skype. Uh, sure. Send me a message on uh, on Twitch or something with your Skype name, and I'll add you. All right. Well, uh, that about does it. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, streaming in probably Tuesday. Um, I have a D and D game on Sunday, so I doubt I'll be able to stream then. Uh.